allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. Mary Addison has been in jail since she was just nine years old. That's when she murdered a three-month-old baby, allegedly. Mary and her mom, both African-American, were babysitting the white infant Alyssa Richardson when the baby died. Since then, Mary has been called a demon child, a monster, a psychopathic baby killer. Most of Mary's childhood after Alyssa died was spent in solitary confinement since the prison system wasn't ready to handle a nine-year-old murderer. Now she's 15 and Mary is in a group home where everyone knows what she did, allegedly. Her celebrity status earns her the ire of fellow teen girls in the home. Mary has spent years not saying anything to anyone, but she has begun talking to some people and then Mary finds inspiration to use her voice. For the first time since her trial, she decides it's time to speak up about what actually happened. We as readers begin to suspect that a great injustice might have been done. The story is told through Mary's perspective, along with interspersed de detective interviews, uh, book excerpts, and news stories. Author Tiffany Jackson weaves a suspenseful tale that pulls readers along as we dig for the answers to a number of powerful questions, including whether Mary really is to blame for the baby's murder. Race, privilege, and class all play roles in this intricate story, and the question of how things might have played out differently if Mary was white rather than black plays at the very edges of this tense story. The knife twist of an ending is likely one that you won't expect. Check out Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson.